Radio in the morning never sounded so good. Capital in the morning with Amina and McPool. Listen, I know there's so, so many questions, but there's only one person in studio. There's only one man and can take just as many questions. But let's pick one because we're having listeners from across the continent this morning and from Nigeria. Oh, no. From Nigeria. Oh, no, no. Had to come in. How do you manage uh, this is how can I build successful businesses in Africa, Nigeria, precisely without external funding? Easy. There's plenty of internal funding within the continent. Admittedly, Kenya maybe have a couple of liquidity issues at the moment, mm-hmm. but there's plenty of people. I mean, you know, I, and when you say external funding, the difference between external and internal in terms of uh, pan, pan-African is very small these days. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's, if you've got a good idea, and, and I tell you what I mean by that, mm-hmm. if you've got a good idea and it's not just the app du jour mm-hmm. or I've got mm-hmm. a cloud de nonsense, mm-hmm. If you've got a really good idea, you will find somebody who wishes to take it up with you. And there's plenty of money within Africa that's always seeking a home. Right. Let's get personal and get to know, well, a bit more personal and get to know Richard Quest. Uh, How much more personal <laughs> would you like? I, mean, I knew you were going to say that. I yeah. knew. There's All not right. much left except well, yes, go on. Uh, tell us about your, your uh, upbringing, siblings and, and growing up. Okay, growing up, grew up in Northern England, in Liverpool and in Leeds. Um, I've got three sisters. We now all live in London, or they live in London. I have a place there as well. And my mother, who's 87. Um, and she, so the family, the family is, is not big, not by certain standards, but it's a close family. We all know what each other's are doing. We have a WhatsApp group between us all. Oh, wow. So that we can all sort of know who's doing this, that, and the other, when, where we're spending Christmas and who's cooking the turkey and all, all that sort of stuff. Made life so much easier, I hasn't know, it? It really, it really has. And, and that's what I would say. It, it allowed people to keep in touch with each other Indeed. much better than, bef- than before. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. What are your hobbies? I always feel I should come up with something really interesting. Like, like <laughs> stamp collecting. <laughs> or um, what I really like doing when I'm not uh, working, which is very, not that often. Um, I, like, I like just doing nothing. I like right. just reading the newspaper. For me, you know, I, I have um, a place... Uh, on the beach which I sometimes go to and for me and my partner the best thing is just to sit and read the newspaper now note I say, no, note anybody under 30 note what I've just said read the <laughs> newspaper I didn't say I look at it online I didn't say I app my way to the Tell New York them. Times I read crinkle you look there's not even is there, there's not a newspaper anywhere in here, this studio here, here we have oh. plenty of them right, plenty of on, them alright so here you go here you go Let's give you that one, now, right? Now, now listen, dear, uh, listen to, to dear listener. It's an interesting one right there no, no, at the front. No, 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 no. All right. What is this sound you're hearing? What is this unusual noise that is coming out of your wireless? It is the sound of pages being turned in a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I love a newspaper. I, I cannot... Somebody, somebody used to say I'm constipated. I can't pass a newspaper without <laughs> reading it. I mean, I just love a, a newspaper. So that's my, one of my major hobbies. The other things, I like gardening. Mm-hmm. We, have, we have a garden. Uh, I'm pretty bad at it. Um, other than that, there's no great... Oh, and aviation stuff. Right. Uh, I don't collect anything except spoons when I travel. Right. Souvenir spoons. But other than that, I have no great burning hobbies. Oh, Are you... Uh, the gym. Well, I was about to ask you if you're a, uh, a beach or a bush person, but you said you have a, a house by the beach. A, a beach. Right. I, there is nothing to meditate on the beach with the waves crashing coming in. It's just phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. And I'm a gymaholic. Right. What's your favorite uh, dish? Dish? Yes. Well, the nice blue one that sits in the cupboard is rather nice. Right. <laughs> Not that, in that sense. What's your favourite meal? Oh, there you go. Um, my favourite meal is something really straightforward, like roast lamb, mint sauce, roast potatoes, and a nice apple crumble with custard. Mm, fantastic. Mm. Nice. Most embarrassing moment? Put it this way. If April the 21st, 2008, was not my most embarrassing moment, I would hate to see what is. <laughs> right. Yes, that's got you, hasn't it? Uh, it, it really has. Yeah. It really has. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. All right, touch wood. The good Lord calls you today. What would be written on your epitaph? Oh, um, I tried. Mm-hmm. Short and sweet. I tried. I'll leave it to others to decide whether I succeeded or not 
Right. But I tried. You're in the desert north of Kenya. And you call it the Chalbi Desert. Mm-hmm. And what is in the one book you'd carry besides a religious book? The one book... It's got to be something that you're going to want to read again and again and again and again and again. Mm-hmm. It's got to be something that you're going to get something out of. Um, and I've forgotten the name of it. Uh, I would say the complete works of Shakespeare. Fantastic. One artist on your iPod in the desert, who would it be? I'm sorry? One artist on your iPod, who would it be? First I was afraid, I was petrified. <laughs> kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. Gloria Gaynor. What luxury item would you like to carry to the Chalby Desert? To the Chalby Desert, if I have, I'm allowed one luxury, it would be a radio. There you go. It would Tuned be into your best mix of music, 98.4, Capital FM. Oh, I wish I could get my voice down there as deep as that. Well, there you go. My word. Right, we're putting you in a hot air balloon. I'm not quite sure who I'm going to pick, but this is how it usually goes. 30,000 feet above sea level. You've got three beauties uh, on uh, the hot air balloon, and you have to kiss one. You have to throw one overboard, and you have to marry one. And let's just quickly uh, go through them. Uh, Becky Anderson is with you. Uh, Hala Gorani and Monita Rajpal. Who are you kissing, who are you marrying, and who are you throwing overboard? Mind you, they do tune in uh, from time to time at this particular hour. Okay. Who am I marrying? Mm-hmm. Who am I kissing? Mm-hmm. And who am I throwing overboard? Indeed. I'm a television anchor. I'm throwing them all overboard. <laughs> Because on this network, there's only the big Q. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Richard Austin Quest. I cannot thank you enough for coming in. Thank you very much. Thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. And to our dear listener, because there is somebody out there, I hope. Thank you so much. (laughs) At Richard Quest is where you can... At Richard Quest. Oh, and by the way, you would like my Instagram, because I may as well just plug it for a minute. There you go. Quest in E. Quest in NY. Quest in E. Wow. 20 minutes to the top of the hour on your best mix of music at 8.4. Thank you, sir. Thank you.